My name is Dr. Sarah Morick. I'm a consultant gynecologist for London Women's Clinic and I'm the clinical lead for our new egg freezing centre. Egg freezing is a established medical procedure and a way to preserve your fertility. It might be for social reasons, meaning that you're not ready to start a family yet, for whatever reason that may be, or a medical reason that you are planning to undergo medical treatment that could jeopardize your fertility. Egg freezing has been around since the late 1990s, which is when it was mostly used for young women who were undergoing cancer treatment. However, the treatment has developed since then. Early 2000, a more successful way of freezing was developed. And after this, success rates increased vastly. And you can see that after this point, the number of women uh, freezing their eggs increased as well. This is a topic that I'm actually very passionate about. In my daily practice, I meet women every day who have a lack of general knowledge about their fertility to no fault of their own. And what I mean by that is that we are taught that we reach menopause at a certain age, which is basically when we run out of eggs. But what nobody really tells us is when are our eggs of the best quality? quality of our eggs basically decreases with age. So we might have periods until we're 50, but our eggs are only of good quality until a certain age. Statistically, we see a significant decrease in egg quality from the age of 35, 36, which basically makes age one of the key considerations when you think about egg freezing. However, due to that lack of awareness about general fertility, many women only start to think about freezing their eggs when they're approaching 40, because it's like a sort of natural alarm bell. Lately, more people in the public eye are coming forward with their fertility issues, something I highly encourage. It sparks conversation, it makes especially younger women more aware of thinking about their fertility, which offers opportunities to start thinking about egg freezing at a younger age, when your egg quality is still high. There are actually many reasons for people to consider egg freezing. It could be that you're just not in the right place in your life right now to have a family and you would like the opportunity to postpone it, whether that be for your relationship or not being in the right relationship or maybe your career or maybe you want to travel. There are medical reasons as well. Maybe you're undergoing treatment that might affect your fertility, like chemotherapy or radiotherapy. And another reason could be gender affirming treatment. Once the decision has been made to freeze your eggs, there are a couple of considerations um, that you need to have. First is, how many eggs do you need in storage to have a realistic chance of a successful pregnancy in the future? This will be discussed during a fertility assessment. The other thing you need to consider is, when I come back to use these eggs, what will happen? And what many women don't realize is that when you come back to use these eggs, the numbers are gonna go down because we have to thaw them. There's a thaw survival rate, how many eggs will actually survive the thaw. And we have to fertilize the eggs with either partner sperm or donor sperm. And then we have to culture these young embryos from day one to day five. We can transfer them on day five. So there are quite some steps still necessary. If you're interested in egg freezing, your first step is to arrange a fertility assessment. Many women ask me if it's possible to have fertility treatment or even a fertility assessment whilst they are on hormonal contraception. The answer is yes, you can have a fertility assessment, but no, for fertility treatment, you should stop your hormonal contraception for at least one month before you start. During your fertility assessment, you would have received advice on how many eggs to store based on your age and egg quality, and it differs per woman. On average, women need one to three rounds of egg freezing to collect a number of eggs that will give them a realistic chance of pregnancy in the future. Egg freezing does not affect your future fertility. What the body does is it takes one group of eggs out of storage each month. In a natural cycle, the body only uses one of these eggs. If you have egg freezing treatment, the medication that we give you uses the whole group of eggs. So we're just using what your body has already taken out of storage and we're not digging into your ovarian reserve. 
When you undergo a cycle of egg freezing, you take hormonal medication and very often you take this medication for about 10 to 12 days. Because it's hormones, you can experience certain side effects. The most common ones being bloated, being tired, maybe feeling a bit more emotional than normally. But from what I see on a day-to-day -day basis is that it's perfectly compatible with your day-to-day -day activities. A lot of women that we see in the clinic nowadays are freezing their eggs because they find themselves in a position that they never thought they would be in and using egg freezing as a last resort. With the knowledge that we have about our fertility and with the success rates that we currently have with our frozen eggs, I think it's safe to say that it would be advisable to start thinking and investigating your fertility at an earlier age and for women to become more proactive about it. Understanding your fertility and pursuing routes like egg freezing can help you take charge of your future.